What's one thing that's changed with people's um, depression and anxiety? Is there one certain cause that you've seen change throughout time where people back 20, 30 years ago weren't so anxious and depressed about, but now are at the forefront of their anxiety and depression? I understand your question, Mo, but I don't have a very good answer for it other than And it's just speculation on my part. What I saw with COVID is that people withdrew into their homes. They stopped going out as much. And I think that was already happening before COVID. People were withdrawing into the video games, into pornography. So it's almost like you could build your own safe environment by staying home. While you're building that safe environment, you're not learning much about social skills, how to read social cues, how to engineer a good conversation amongst a group of friends. You're not learning any of that, any of that stuff. So then you go out into the world and you feel awkward and uh, embarrassed. And so you say, nah, you know, I'm better off at home. Mm. Just continue watch, playing video games and watching porn. So I think something like that's going on. So that people, when they venture out into the world, and we're we're lonely, people are lonely. They want to have that connection with other people, with a girlfriend or a partner, group of friends. So that pulls them out of their house, and they get out there, and they don't know how to do it. And it goes sideways. It goes south. They break up. They don't understand why they're breaking up. Back to the video game. Hmm. I think something like that might be going on. You said that this was happening even before COVID. Yeah. That's interesting. What was making that happen? You and I talked on the phone. You talked about social media. You please correct me if I, because I'm old and I don't, I'm not living in that world. But it seems to me that social media, everybody's life look, should look like a beer commercial. I've got 5,000 friends. <laughs> I've got beautiful girlfriends. I've got a lovely car, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely. Yeah. Suffocating, really. Yeah. So you meet somebody and you cannot possibly live up to the image that you portrayed of yourself in Facebook. Now there comes the person that you're dating, live up to their image. So the whole thing is fraught with a lot of anxiety right from the get-go. What I tell people, what I tell my clients is, what are you interested in? Let's say photography. I said, take a night school course in photography. You'll meet people that are also interested in photography and they won't be looking at you like you're, you're their date. They'll be able to relax and enjoy you, and you'll be able to enjoy them. And something can grow naturally from that contact. 